Hello everyone and welcome to the latest vlog. I always find that the hardest part of doing these vlogs is the introduction. I never really know how to say hello, as stupid as that sounds. Laura's always taking the mick out of me and saying to me, just just say hello, be natural, but it's so hard. It, like Anyway, today's vlog, it wasn't actually planned to be a vlog. Recently I've just celebrated my birthday. Now I'm not going to say how old I was because it's quite embarrassing. And I'm getting to that age where like it's starting to really dawn on me that I'm I'm getting on a bit. So when it comes to mine or Laura's birthday, we always try and do something a little special. And Laura knocked her out of the park again, as she normally does. Now, as I mentioned, this wasn't going to be a vlog, but I decided to take the camera along with me anyway. And I'm glad that I did. Laura got us tickets to an event called the Magical Woodland Experience. The Magical Woodland Experience is in Blakemere Village in Cheshire. So what is the Magical Woodland Experience? Good question. I didn't know the answer either. Basically, it's a light and sound experience within a forest. Now, I know I'm not selling that very well, but that's probably a good thing because you're going to see how amazing it is on the video. So it's sometimes just better to see it with, you, with your own eyes. So it's probably good that I carry my little camera around with me everywhere. So have a little look. Tell me what you think. I'll get the video rolling and you can have a look at what we got up to. So, do you agree? Isn't that place absolutely amazing? Honestly, it was so good. And I know for a fact that it just won't have picked up as well on the camera as I wanted it to. But that just means that if you do get to go to yourself, you'll just, 
you'll be blown away, honestly. So that event runs from the 9th of October to the 7th of November. So you might be able to catch it. But if you do miss out, they're doing a Christmas magical woodland on the 29th of November through to the 21st of December. So I know I'll be going to that. You should go as well. I should mention this isn't a promoted video. This is just genuinely somewhere that I've just been and had a really, really good time. So the tickets to this place, I believe, cost £20 per person. Um, to be honest with you, it's not just a forest experience. When you get there, there is an area where they've got fun fair rides for kids and also lots of like food stalls where you can get, you know, pizzas and all, all different kinds of food, to be honest with you. They also have a, a tent area where there's a live DJ on. Now, that was amazing. We spent some time in there and we had a couple of drinks. As you might have seen in the vlog, these ladies were having a fantastic time. Um as was many other people whilst we were there. Okay, so the hotel that we stayed in was called The Boar's Head, and it is a pub in an area called Middlewich. Now, Middlewich was about 10 minutes away from the forest that we, we visited. The room that we were given was room number 10. It was very modern. It wasn't massive by any means, but I don't actually know really what I was expecting from a pub room, but what I will say is it was really nice. You know I'm all about the view. Now, obviously, being a pub, it was in a busy area on a main road, but we did have a nice front view, so I couldn't complain. The bathroom was lovely and clean. That was very modern as well. The bed, to be honest with you, I'm not just saying it. You've seen a couple of our vlogs now, hopefully, where you'll have seen we've stayed in castles, but I actually had the best sleep I've had in a very long time in the boar's head. So, well done. The check-in was the simplest check-in I've ever had staying in a hotel before in my life. We walked to the bar, we spoke to a young girl, I think her name was Lucy, if it's not, I'm sorry. She was really nice, she showed us up to our room. From the door to our room, it took about one minute, honestly. That was good, that's always a win. The breakfast in the hotel was really good. The, the process there is they give you a sheet, you fill in what you want, and then you hand it back to them, and then it's ready and waiting for you, pretty much when you go down the next morning. I would recommend the full English, but I would always recommend the full English. Yummy! Before I end the vlog, me and Laura would like to give a little mention to Liz and Ange who work at the pub. We got into conversation with them just before we were leaving on checkout and we happened to mention that we've got a pub in our back garden called The Hog and Ho. Um, we explained that we, you know, we're, we're collecting bits as we go along and trying to make it like a proper authentic little pub in the back garden and they were really nice. They gave us a box of like various glasses and bar runners um, and they also gave us a big chalkboard for outside the pub so we were absolutely made up. Can't say you get one of those every time you leave a hotel, can you? Thanks Liz and Ange, you're the best. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to end the vlog now, but before I do, I just want to say thank you to Laura. Now, she's not here, otherwise I'd have grabbed her over onto the camera. Um, but I just want to say thank you. I had the best birthday trip ever, as I always do. You never let me down, um, and I love you loads. Oh, yeah, one thing I nearly did forget to do, as I always forget. Is... Hold on. ta -da! If you like the video, or if you like any of my videos, or you just want to do me a favour, then hit the like button on the video, maybe give me a little comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. That would be great. I just want to thank Shannon, my sister. She got me this t-shirt for my birthday. Okay, as always, hope you have a good one and see you on the next video.